folks. Um, we got ourselves a nice coon uh, uh, trail location here. I like what I'm seeing. I got some water behind me. Uh, just a nice deal. I'd say the trap's up about four inches on this H stand. Um, you know, you, it gives you just a better shot. They'll climb right on through something like that versus going over. I still went ahead and uh, you can take some of these uh, pieces uh, uh, in here and get them, just stick them right in there and kind of blo block the area off, make it a little bit big just to ensure that old coon's going to walk on through it. Great location. Very nice muddy trail. This is exactly what, what we're looking for <coughs> when it comes to coon trapping. Uh, got, a, got a very defined trail. He's going to walk right through this. Great location. Uh, I, hope, I hope we can be successful on it. Hey, um, super location. Uh, got a nice muddy trail here. Perfect for coon. Uh, came back day two and we got him. You know, it's a perfect head catch on this coon. Uh, a little bit small. <laughs> for our, for our season, but you got to trap through these things, and and what a nice, you know, actually he's got a nice fur to him. He's gonna he's gonna skin out nice. He's not as big as I like, but uh, we got a lot of coon right now. I need to get these guys put up. Uh, great location if you look at it. I'm just using a, an H bar uh, type of a deal. Came in and got whacked. I mean, beautiful location. You can really rack the coons up very fast doing things like this. Fast, simple, and more than anything, he's dry. I'm all mic'd up here, first time test for this. Uh, but I do got a trail, I'm in a woodsy area. You know, most of you see me in, a, in the big country and uh, see me out in the, in the prairie and everything. But I do have uh, raccoon trapping opportunities. <coughs> and this is a great location uh, for bobcats as well. And I wanna, I got a coyote set nearby but I do want to guard the thing, and uh, what I did is I stuck some wool down into the uh, down into the uh, trap, and basically all I'm doing is taking some dog proof, and I'm squirting that right on in there, and that's really all it takes. It's, it's very simple. I have wool in there to help absorb it. Uh, great lo great thing to do. I didn't have any cat food or anything with me today because I am out coyote trapping. I just keep this with me, uh, just using my coyote wool to do it. Animals gonna come in here, they're gonna smell this wonderful cherry oil type of uh, essence and uh, they're gonna get caught. I, I just have it staked here, right here. I have it bent over the trap, leaning in. Kyle's gonna reach in there, he's gonna get the, he's gonna wanna have, he's gonna wanna eat this. He's gonna like that. And again, I didn't use very much. Normally I, I take this and mix it in a gallon of uh, cat food or small dog food, sprinkle about two, three ounces with it and it takes off, but then what a great, Coon location. I got go ahead and pan over there to see the cornfield. I got a cornfield edge, a lot of opportunity over there too, and we're going to be setting that area up. But I have this uh, coyote set uh, located right behind you, and I don't want to get it. I don't want it to get set off by the coons and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and try to cover a coon right here. This is the only trail really coming into it, so we'll go ahead and cover this. I think we're going to be lucky, and I think we're going to be successful here at this location. So let me keep going through. The okay, day. I got another trail. It's running parallel to the creek here. Uh, another good location uh, on, the, on the coon trap line. Uh, I've got my H support already in. And um, there we go. Let me kind of put them down to stabilize. Take off my triggers, my, safety, my safeties. And um, I got myself some stuff here to choke it down. Um, again, you always want to be able to choke these things down. Keep the, keep the critters coming your way. There we go. Do the same thing on over here. And you know, they're just going to walk right in. Raccoons are not that particular. Build that up a little bit. I got a little bit of an opening right here, so let me grab myself some buck brush and uh, kind of get it covered here. Yeah, nothing, nothing too big, nothing too elaborate. Just something to kind of poke in the ground, keep them on the trail. There we go. Just something real nice, simple. Keep them focused. 
I got this great trail behind behind me. I got kind of a beaver dam, or, or at least a, a, where a bunch of trees are lodged up. I don't really want to call it a beaver dam. What a great pinch point for some otter and beaver down there. That would be great as well. But right now we're focusing on the raccoon. I got a trail set running parallel to the creek. I got a beautiful, just a bare, bare dirt type of trail walking through here. I, I know the next time a coon comes through, I'm gonna have him pegged. Just a blind trail set, uh, 220 kind of bear, no bait, no lure. Uh, this way, if a canine comes along, a coyote or, what, uh, or even a coon hunting dog, he, 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 there's nothing here to hold his attention. He'll just jump over this if he's running along this line. He won't stick his head in. He'll jump over and keep right on after that coon. Hopefully we'll have the coon caught right here. And, and, uh, but just a super location. Uh, you know, look for these inside trails, high bank trails. A lot. That's what a lot of them are called. Uh, I got them here. This coon's going to be caught, and uh, I love it. All right, we got ourselves a nice big coon, another uh, 220 uh, blind trail set. And you know what? He even got caught with my pliers here yesterday. So that's a good deal. I, I've already got it uh, done. I got a RTS <coughs> setter here. I wanted to show you just how easy it is to get these guys out of the trap. Uh, just setting this up. It's like a caught gun. The main thing is the safety of it. Uh, you, you know, getting caught, you know, I'm going to hold on one second. I just don't want to get this spring in. This spring right there. There we go. I didn't want to get getting caught in my deal. Um, but say you get yourself in a position of uh, you getting caught in a con of bear. Uh, this will work for 330s, 280s, 110s, uh, 220s. That's what we got here. And it, it'll just crunch right on up, and uh, we'll get them. There we go, and just release it. That simple on that one. No, no heavy, uh, big tines or anything like that. You can get the coon right out in one hand. You know, if this was my, if I had a hand caught in one of these, I know I can get myself out. That's the big is that's the big advantage of an RTS setter. Got a coon foot. There we go. I got it. And I'll release it. Now my coon is safe to come out. Pitch him over, and just resetting. Is this easy? Put that down. Push this in, make sure I'm in. Getting my dog in position. Make sure everything is set. Let's go ahead and dress this up. Yeah, obviously yesterday I had a lot of things to kind of guide it down. I'll put these on the ground, kind of stabilize it. But you know, it's fast, it's efficient, and uh, you're really gonna, you're really gonna like this type of blind trail setting for raccoon, just like I am right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the, the safeties off of it. Always gotta remember to do that before we leave. So all my safeties are off. I go with the V, an open V myself. It works good. Let me get some more things to kind of choke it down. Just stick them in. Make sure he doesn't want to climb over the set. Just build it up and let it kind of hang over. It's really that simple. They just, they will just, he'll just keep on going and coons are pretty bold. They'll walk right on in and climb in. They're used to doing this in old buildings and trees and everything else. So I got it all guided off. The next coon coming along, he's gonna get whacked. Great location, coming right off of a creek behind me out into the cornfield. You know it's suicide for the raccoon and the farmer appreciates it as well. 
that's how come that's one of the reasons I'm able to maintain and have so much coyote ground is I'm willing to do stuff like this. 